Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shock with DG, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the changes coming with the new Operation Neon Dawn. There's so much to talk about, such as the new reinforcement changes, Jaeger and Habana rework, and the new ranked map pool, and even a new way of stopping the hard breachers with this new sort of bandit tricking strat. I'll have timestamps in the description, as well as the pinned comment, so that you can skip around to whatever you want to hear about. Now, before the video starts, I just want to say... Thank you to Ubisoft for inviting me to yet another event. I got to play Shadow Legacy early, and I'm also getting to play Neon Dawn early. So big thank you to Ubisoft. I really do appreciate that. Maybe hit me with that charm next, you know, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, if you do want to follow me on, the, on Twitch, though, link will be in the description or the pinned comment. But anyways, guys, on to the video. Now, who is the new operator? The new operator's name is Aruni. Now, she has a gadget named the Surya Gate. The Surya Gate is a laser generating device set on walls or entry points that deactivates after damaging gadgets or opponents and is reactivatable. So that is the in-game description on what Aruni's gadget is. So basically it's a laser gate that you put on, you know, walls, reinforced walls, soft walls, windows, doors, things such as that. Now what is her loadout? Aruni is rocking the P10 Roni, such as Mozzie does but she does not have the 1.5X as Mozzie does. So it's a little bit different there. She's also running the MK14 EBR, which is Dokubi's DMR. So this is gonna be the first DMR you see on defense. So that is actually pretty exciting. This gun does, however, have the 1.5X. So if you'd like that little bit extra zoom, you're gonna have to run that DMR over the Roni. As for her secondary pistol, it's going to be a PRB92 handgun. So that is her secondary, that is her only secondary. As for her secondary gadgets, however, she has barbed wire and a bulletproof camera. Aruni is also a two speed, two armor operator. I personally prefer when operators are two two. So this makes me very happy to see. Aruni also has a crazy powerful ability. This is a passive ability. Since she has that robot arm and that robot leg, she actually has the ability to punch holes straight through soft walls and hatches. This means she can simply melee a hatch in one hit and fully destroy the hatch instantly. She can also just make rotates in four simple melees, which is kind of crazy. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Next up, what are Aruni's counters? How do I get rid of this laser gate? You know, I'm going up to this wall. There's a laser gate on it. How do I get rid of this so I can cross into that next room? Well, this is where it gets a bit interesting. Aruni's Surya gates actually don't have very many counters. Well, they do, but they don't. And you'll, you'll kind of see what I mean here. So Aruni can be countered by any sort of projectile being thrown into the surrogate gate. So if you throw your drone in there, a flashbang, a grenade, ash charge, Zofia charge, twitch drone, any projectile into that gate, it's going to disable that gate for a solid 30 seconds. That is a long, long time but that does not mean the defenders cannot reactivate that. As I said earlier, her gadget is able to be reactivated. All the defenders have to do after that 30 seconds up is shoot the little Surya gate thingy at the top, whatever you want to call it. Kind of looks like a K charge almost. You basically shoot that and boom, the lasers are back. So you have a 30 second window after you throw one of your gadgets into the Surya gate. Something very important to note with the Surya gates is that you actually can't destroy them. You can only disable them for 15 or 30 seconds. You cannot ash charge them, Sophia charge them, grenade them. You cannot breach charge them. You can do nothing to destroy them, only disable them. So keep this in mind when trying to disable one of her gadgets. Well, what about Thatcher? Can Thatcher counter a Rooney? Well, 100% Thatcher can counter a Rooney. The only problem with countering a Rooney with Thatcher is number one, Thatcher is banned consistently across every map always. It's, he's just always banned. Besides that though, if you throw your Thatcher EMP grenade up against a, a Rooney Surya gate, it's only going to disable the gate for 15 seconds. Whereas if you had simply thrown the EMP grenade directly into the lasers of the Surya gate, it'll disable it for 30 seconds. So there's really no point in Thatcher EMP grenading the Aruni gate because you could just throw the EMP grenade into the gate itself and disable it for double that time. So this makes Thatcher kind of a weak counter. I mean, anybody with a drone is a better counter than Thatcher, honestly. 
So for this reason, I don't think Thatcher is that great of a counter, although it is a viable counter nevertheless. Now you can also disable it by just throwing your body directly into it. So if you do this, the big downside is that you will take 40 damage and be very careful that you do not stand in it for too long because you will actually take 80 damage. If you stand in the Surya Gates for too long, you will take double damage. Now this is because of how the gadget actually works. So basically, when you throw a gadget in, say I throw my flashbang into the Surya Gate, right? Now, you would imagine it just instantly is gone, I can run through. Well, you actually have to wait a few seconds, I think it's around three seconds before the gate is fully destroyed. So this means there are two ticks to the Surya Gate. So now this leads to some really cool things that you could do by countering hard breachers, which I'll get into very, very soon. But this also means that if you just run through it, cool, you take 40 damage. But if you sit in it, you're going to get hit by the first tick, which disables it. And then the second tick, meaning you'll take 80 damage. Something else you could do with this is you could even place Capcan traps on the same doorways or windows that have Surya gates on them. So you could really pair these up to do a bunch of damage you could easily kill someone with one doorway combining a surya gate and a capkin trap also something to note with this is that the surya gates actually do not care if you're a one armor two armor three armor you're going to take 40 damage either way so as you guys know with the capkin traps if you're a three armor you take 20 damage if you're a two armor you take 40 and if you're a one armor you actually take 60 damage but with the Surya Gates, it's a little bit different. You're going to take 40 damage no matter what armor you are. So keep that in mind when you're going to run through. So as I told you guys, there's some really cool tricks you can do with the Surya Gates. Uh, me, The Kill, and Ebyte, shout out to those guys. I'll have the links to their channels in the description. They helped me find some really cool tricks with this gadget that you could actually use to hard breed. So you could actually trick walls with the Surya Gate almost like a bandit trick but even better so again we're going to be going over that a little bit later but for now we're going to go over the other changes that we have with the other operators and just the game in general so of course we have the skyscraper rework which i'll be making a video on soon i'm going to be doing a full walkthrough on that video it'll probably be after this video so like the day after this video so if you're watching it the day this video released it'll be tomorrow so if you guys would like to watch that make sure you're subscribed with notifications on that you get to see that video anyways though the skyscraper rework is coming out and it's actually going to be replacing outback so outback is no longer in the ranked map pool which is awesome because i know everybody for the most part does doesn't really like Outback. So let's just hope that that is a little bit better and that the community likes that more. So again, I'll be having a full walkthrough on that video tomorrow. Anyways though, Ash, what happened to Ash? She's actually gotten some changes. So Ash has now lost her flashbangs and given them to Twitch. And Twitch has lost her Claymore and given it to Ash. Now that is not the only change to Ash, however. Ash also has three breaching rounds. Yes three so no longer can she breach just two things she has a third round in her breaching charge her primary gadget so that is a really cool change i actually kind of like this i don't know we'll have to see how it balanced but personally i think it's kind of cool i just hope it's balanced and things aren't too op but uh we'll kind of have to see there so next up is the new habana change so you guys might have seen this before habana is getting sort of a rework um kind of a, a buff i'd say in my opinion she's having the ability to shoot all six of her habana charges and then i believe it's four and then three so this means habana is going to be so so good at getting those hatches so instead of wasting all six of your habana pellets on one hatch you could switch your firing mode to only shoot four habana pellets this means those two you'll save and you could put towards a different wall so now you're no longer wasting two of your habana pellets you can save those and use them on something else and use only the four that you need for the hatch so this is going to make habana the hatch queen she's going to be the best at getting hatches undisputable so i think this is a pretty cool change i don't see really any negative drawbacks from this i think it's pretty cool next up we have a buff to all defenders this is a buff to every single defender and this is actually something that a lot of people have been wanting for a very long time and this is going to be 
faster reinforcement. So this means you can place a reinforcement on a wall or hatch significantly faster than you could before this update, before Operation Neon Dawn. So this is something you could kind of compare to Outbreak. If you had played Outbreak back when that was out, it was a special event game mode. You would reinforce walls and hatches significantly faster, like 100% faster. I don't think that you're reinforcing quite as fast as you are there, but you can compare it to that. It is 100% much faster to reinforce which is awesome i love to see that reinforcing is just like a big pain so i love to see that it takes a little bit less time to put down a reinforcement and this isn't confirmed this isn't like in the patch notes anywhere that i saw but it kind of sounds like reinforcements are quieter i don't know you guys have to tell me let me know in the comments when you get your hands on operation neon dawn let me know if you guys think that the reinforcements are a bit quieter but in my opinion, I think they're just a tiny bit quieter, which is nice because, you know, if you're trying to have a conversation with someone while you're reinforcing, it's really, really difficult to hear what they're saying because it's so loud. And then everything else in the game would be really quiet. So, like, there wasn't a way to just turn reinforcements down. It's It, it sounded like reinforcements were way louder than everything else. Uh, you guys have to let me know. Uh, maybe it was a bug or something. Anyways, moving past the reinforcements, we have a change to Jaeger. This is a Jaeger rework. So, Jaeger's actually getting his ADS completely changed up here. So, his ADS is no longer get two projectiles they actually get infinite amount of projectiles this means that jaeger 180s could potentially get every projectile that the attacking team has although before you lose your minds here there is a drawback jaeger's ads's have a 10 second cooldown in between projectiles this means if i throw a grenade and jaeger's ads gets it that same ads will not be able to get any other projectile for at least 10 seconds so there's not a cooldown although it can get more than two projectiles so you guys have to let me know what you guys think about that i think it's going to help the 20 second meta a little bit you're not going to have to clear as much utility so it's going to be really interesting you guys have to let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below but now we're going to get into the hard breach tricking with aruni so as i said before the kill and ebite had come to me with this uh it's, it's really cool so basically there's a really cool trick with a Rooney, and I think this needs to be looked at. So as I said earlier, a counter to a Rooney was Thatcher. Now the problem is Thatcher is banned a lot, like most games. Thatcher isn't going to be a viable counter, and Thatcher in this case, which I'll show you, is going to be the only counter to a Rooney. There is no other way of countering a Rooney in this specific case. So what is that how do you have an operator that has zero counter well, i'm going to show you guys so what you want to do okay you want to take any wall you want to reinforce the wall you're going to go on the outside of the wall you're going to put your aruni on that wall you're going to go back on the other side of the wall and stand up against it now what that's going to do is disable the lasers on the surya gate now that means that the Surya gate cannot be disabled. This means that if you're Zofia, if you're Ash, and you Ash charge that Surya gate, it is not going to disable it because there's no lasers to disable. So it's, it's so the second you walk away from it, the lasers are back again. So what this means is you could actually hard breach trick a wall. So something really cool that we were doing, we were testing on the church wall on Clubhouse downstairs. Now. This works best on a double wall. That way, if you stand in the middle of both panels, you can actually disable both the lasers on the other side of the wall. So all you have to do, okay, is you hear an ace charge get thrown on the wall. You hear Habana pellets. All you have to do, take a few steps back, that Syria gate activates again, and boom, the Habana pellets, the ace charges are all gone. It's based purely on Sonya. Yeah. yeah. From your side. Yep, all I did was hear it and I ran away. Thermite is going to be able to counter this slightly, but not really. It's 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 really not going to be that possible. So Thermite is going to be your best hope at getting one of these reinforcements. And here's why. Thermite isn't stuck to placing these projectiles on the wall and not being able to pick them up. Once Habana puts those down, they're down. If Ace puts his Ace Breach on the wall, it's going to take him too long to pick them back up. It's really going to be difficult for Ace to pick them back up. So it's not really a viable counter to this. So your best chance is Thermite. And here's why. Thermite, you can start placing it on there and it will give a sound cue to whoever's on the other side. And maybe they'll walk away and then you could pick up your, you could stop the animation basically. You wouldn't pick it up. You'd stop the animation and the laser gates would go down and your Ash or Sophia could impact it and then disable it. That is the best 
best way to counter this currently hopefully this is you know tweaked a little bit but yeah that is uh kind of ridiculous in my opinion i mean it's going to be very difficult to get some of these walls i mean can you imagine if there's walls such as on canal and you go outside on killbox and you put these aruni gates down the def the attackers can't shoot you and then all you have to do is stand right there on the other side of the walls you're completely safe and just back up when you hear the thermite charge going off so i don't know you guys have to let me know what you guys think about this i think it's a little bit op but you know we'll just have to see we'll have to see how it's used in pro league i i love to see these top ranking players play this these pro league players i want to see them get their hands on a rooney and see what kind of strats they can pull up with this but personally i do think a rooney is a bit too powerful but you guys be sure to let me know in the comments but that's probably gonna be all for this video guys if you did like the video be sure to drop a like and subscribe make sure those notifications are on again i've got that skyscraper walkthrough coming up tomorrow if you're watching this video on the day of release also comment down below what you guys think of the new operation do you guys think a rooney is going to be too powerful do you guys think some of the changes to ash and twitch and some of the other operators are a little bit ridiculous are they op are they not enough um what do you guys think of what's going on in siege in this new operation called neon dawn i'm really excited to hear your guys' thoughts on it but as always guys thanks for watching and i hope you all have a great day